Japan's Prime Minister Noda has that sinking feeling again. A new NHK poll suggests his approval rating is low and his disapproval rating is high. Voters aren't happy about his leadership or his policies. And more of them disagree with his plan to cover Japan's debt and pay for its aging society. Noda's approval rating is sitting at 27 percent. It's the lowest level since he took office last September. His disapproval rating is at its highest point since he became prime minister. It's now 56 percent. 51 percent of those expressing disapproval say they do not expect much from Noda's policies. The poll also looked at the prime minister's decision to raise Japan's consumption tax, part of the financial reform package we just mentioned. 30 percent of those surveyed support the plan. 38 percent disapprove. We asked NHK World's political reporter Maiko Ambe to give us some insight on this poll. Here she is in conversation with Arjino Tani. Prime Minister Noda facing the same problem as some of his predecessors. We were talking about plunging popularities here once again. Why are the voters not behind him? Um, well, uh, Noda took office promising to rebuild northeastern Japan following the disaster while balancing economic growth and fiscal reform. Um, our poll suggests voters don't like how he's following through on those pledges. He's planning to raise the consumption tax from 5 to 10 percent. Noda's popularity has been dropping since he took power less than a year ago. He started out with a 60 percent support rating. That's fallen to less than 30 percent, as we just saw. The prime minister staked his political career on the tax hike, and it sparked a revolt within his ruling Democratic Party. He says the revenue is needed to finance Japan's debt and pay growing Social Security costs. But Japanese taxpayers have told us they want Noda to do more to cut wasteful government spending before anything else. The results in our poll suggest Noda will have to work hard to win back public support. Mm -hmm. And it's not just voters that he has to woo back. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, Noda's dealing with problems within his own party. What kind of impact could that have on Noda as prime minister? Well, Noda faced a rebellion two weeks ago when the lower house voted on the consumption tax hike and other financial reform bills. Seventy-three Democratic Party lawmakers did not support the bills. Some of them quit and are working to form a new party. Now the question is, what the DPJ dissidents and defectors will do if the opposition puts forward a non-confidence motion against NODA? It's considering doing that once the financial reform bills become law. If these dissidents and defectors vote in favor of the motion, it could pass. Um, one key DPJ lawmaker, a former prime minister, indicated Monday he would support the motion. Um, if Noda loses a vote, he will be forced to call a general election or resign. NHK World's political reporter Maiko Ambe speaking with Gino Tani. People in Japan have been wary of nuclear power since the crisis at the Fukushima plant last year. A new NHK poll suggests half of them want to reduce dependency on nuclear energy but not completely abandon it. More than 1,000 people took part in the survey last weekend. They were asked about government proposals for the role of nuclear power in the year 2030. Nuclear power accounted for about 26 percent of total power supplies before the March 11th disaster. Officials have proposed three scenarios. The first is that Japan completely abandons nuclear power. The second is that 15 percent of energy supplies come from nuclear plants. And third is that nuclear power accounts for about a quarter of all energy supplies. Forty percent of respondents to the poll support cutting the rate to 15 percent. About one third favored getting rid of nuclear power entirely. Just 12 percent wanted the ratio to be as high as one quarter. The poll also asked about the decision to restart two reactors at the OE nuclear plant in central Japan. 42 percent had a positive view of the restart. 52 percent were negative. Asked if more reactors should go back online, 25 percent said yes and 27 percent said no. The rest were undecided.